Hi, I just wanted to point out something to all you Buddy Rich fans. And I wanted to work on the traditional grip aspect of what I noticed about him. Uh, some of you might be familiar with Ken Loomer and his great videos. Two things about the left hand of Buddy Rich. And let me just say immediately. I am nobody rich. I'm nothing anywhere as close to it. I am an avid fan for life till I die. And studying the master is something that I always do. First of all, if you've seen some of the Ken Loomer videos, Ken's great at describing uh, some aspects of Buddy. I asked Ken a question once. I said, when you met with Buddy, did he ever show you or tell you some secrets that you just never forgot. And he said, yes, here's one thing about the way he held his stick. And I was always wrong on this. When I would hold my stick with a traditional grip, I had a tendency to want to be back on the stick. Ken said, no, the way Buddy held his stick was almost in the middle and maybe basically in the middle. And I said, why did Buddy like that? He said, because the stick has better balance in the middle for control. All right? So I put my stick now closer to the middle. And then as I'm, you know, looking at photographs of Buddy Rich, I notice something about his left hand. And it's a very subtle thing, but if you are a traditional grip drummer, you want to keep this in mind. Now, the way I, I'm going to show you what I did, been doing wrong for the years I've been playing. If you'll notice here, traditional grip style. But this is where things are wrong, on the ring finger. And I'll try to position myself. I have the stick over almost my ring finger nail. And that's wrong. I saw a picture of Buddy Rich. And maybe you've seen the picture. It's, he's wearing like this striped, vertical striped shirt with the band. And you can see his left hand. And look at this. See what I just did? I moved the stick over the knuckle on the ring finger. And then go ahead and, and grip it. Now it looks different. Before I was doing this, the buddy does this. It's a very subtle move. But as soon as I tried this move, I noticed something happened. I can control the stick with this finger, that finger. You can do paradiddles. I imagine, and this is where I'm still getting the hang of this, but maybe you guys who really have some great finger control, there's a couple of videos where I will see Buddy doing something like this. But this is what's interesting about this, this position. You know that you remember his great left hand. Now that it's back, I seem to have more speed. And if I go a little bit more towards the middle, I can get more speed out of it. But it's really noticeable on a single stroke roll where I, this is your basic single. And as I go faster, it just somehow once again, I'm not the greatest, but you guys who if you hold it in tighter, it goes faster. Now, some guys are saying, well, you know, it's an in, out, in, out, in, out. And maybe it is. And if you want to comment on this video, go ahead. But I just noticed by keeping the stick, you have more control. And if you throw some wrist action into it, if you develop it, 
it really it works quite well. Something else I noticed about Buddy, he was very wise. Sometimes you'll notice him doing the triplets around the drum kit. This item is really wide. He does a lot of motion, but once again, if you tighten it up and keep that stick behind the ring finger, it seems to require less physical motion and the stick starts to do it for you. I don't know, that's just something I noticed. For you guys who uh, use a traditional grip, just try, give it a feel. Try it. Push that stick behind the knuckle and uh, go for it. Anyhow, just thought I'd share that with you. Take care, be well, and go ahead and comment on the, the video. I'd like to know what you think. Bye-bye.